Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CoachAir.co.uk. In this episode, what I'm going to do is show you how you can get the tabs back in Umbraco V8. So maybe you're used to the tabs, you've been working with Umbraco V7 and you're starting to work with Umbraco V8. Maybe you've been following the tutorials that I've been doing on the Umbraco V8 series. And um, you might be wondering, where have the tabs gone? I don't like the uh, property groups. And how do I get them back? Well, um, so in the core Umbraco build, they decided to change it so that it would be going down like this. And one of the main reasons, I think, was for the side-by-side -side editing of multilingual sites. So you would have a group, you would have this half here would be English, and then this half here would be in French or Danish or something like that. So that way, as you scroll down, you can scroll on both sides and you can see the side-by-side -side editing experience. I'm not sure that that's a, you know, a brilliant reason for doing it. Um, a lot of people have complained, we want our tabs back. So I don't know if you know about this, but it looks like only 91 people have downloaded this, which is ridiculous for what it is. There's a package called Matryoshka, and it's by Soren Kotel, who's an Umbraco MVP and a core contributor. And it, he's basically taken a package that was made by Seb um, from Umbraco HQ. He did it as a community package called Tabify. And uh, Soren has improved on Tabify and made it even better than Tabify. And I think Tabify has now been sunsetted as well. So what is it? Let's have a look. And how do we install it? So I've installed my um, clean starter kit package here on an Umbraco cloud trial. And then if I go into packages and then I look for new releases, you should see Matryoshka in the list of new releases. What we're looking for is... Uh, this icon here, here it is, Matryoshka, it definitely deserves more than 91 downloads. Just install the package, I accept the terms. Now I think, uh, let's just check to see if you can install it with NuGet. Now I can't see it install with NuGet option, um, but anyway, let's just see. So we go, finished. So click on finish. And from where we had before, where we had the groups, and you just scroll forever, um, now we won't have that. So if we go to content, go into, let's say, home to start with. Here we go, content footer SEO. Now, my friend Craig, I'm sure, will be over the moon with this. Uh, he's Craig, at Craig100, I think, on Twitter, or something like that. Um, yeah, he he was the biggest campaigner to bring the tabs back. So Umbraco HQ haven't brought the tabs back, but Soren has. Um, one of the good things about this Matryoshka package is that you can um, still put the groups back in. So the way you do that is you add a Matryoshka group separator. So I'm going to do that um, for it. on the example. I'm going to split these into two groups. So if we go into settings and then we go to the visibility controls here and then I add a property and I'm going to call it group one. Just just for the example, you can add a label to. So in that description there, that will actually act as the label for the group or the description for the group, however you want to call it. And then just do Matryoshka group separator. And then I can add a group to. This is the second group. And again, just look for Matryoshka. Submit that. And then do a reorder. Put group one there, group two there, and then save. Now, if we go back to the content item, it reloads. What we should see is that those visibility controls now are in two separate groups. So even though we have tabs like this, thanks to what Soren put into his package, we can also have separate groups as well. And visually, we still have two groups. He said it's a bit of a hack how he did that, but it's good that you can still do it. So you can still use the groups if you did like the groups.
So, yeah, um, if you've not heard of it and you were missing the tabs and you really want them back, then this is the package for you. It's called Matryoshka. It's got this icon. That's one you're looking for. And let's get this download count up. I mean, it's only on 91 downloads. I couldn't believe it. Probably 92 now I've downloaded it. But, yeah, install it. See what you think. And if you do install it and you do like it, then really you should vote for it as well. That's what I do. If it's a package I like, then click on that vote, and that helps people that are looking for packages. Um, and, yeah, let's get this up and share it with the other people as well uh, who use Umbraco. Let's get the word out, and let's help people's editing experience because we're all on V8 now, so let's make it the best that it can be. So thanks to Soren, and thanks for Seb in the first place doing Tabify. All right, um, if you like this video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, and feel free to leave any comments as well, and I'll see you on my next video. All right, thanks, bye.